The National Weather Service issued a special weather statement last night about strong winds in the Bishop and Driscoll area. One three uh, news viewer even caught a rare sight on camera. This was taken by Pamela Hernandez just after seven last night around Highway FM 665 and 70. It's not a full blown tornado, but what is known as a land spout. Also, a reminder, anytime that you have weather video or pictures, be sure to share them with us. Okay, so what is the difference between a land spout versus a supercell tornado? Carly's going to... That's a Carly question. Yeah, break it all <laughs> down for us, Carly. Yes, they are similar, but there's one key difference, the way each of them form and the damage that they cause. So this was that storm that developed yesterday evening, producing that tornado right there into far western Nueces County. It was spotted uh, from the north, looking south. It was near Driscoll, and that was where that land spout was. Here's what was going on in our atmosphere. Each of these little storms were producing what is known as an outflow boundary, and those outflow boundaries are winds erasing out away from the storm, and those outflow boundaries merged, creating that spinning motion and helping produce that land spout at the surface. So the merging outflow boundaries again created spin at the surface. That is a key point, the key difference between land spouts and those supercell tornadoes. So land spouts originate at the surface and that is what cre helps create that kind of rope like appearance you just saw in the photo. Uh, oh, otherwise, this is the difference. A supercell tornado must have a rotating updraft. So it is a much stronger storm in the first place and that can help those tornadoes last for a long time and create that extensive damage. So you've got that rotating column of air that starts within the storm and then you see the wall cloud develop and in a supercell tornado that rotating column of air starts from the cloud and stretches downward and again if it doesn't reach the ground then it's just known as a funnel cloud uh, but if it does it is a tornado and these are the stronger tornadoes typically those land spouts are, are on the weaker end of the EF scale and they don't tend to produce much if any damage at all Barbie John Thomas.